Hi guys, it's uh, Cham. Uh, I'm gonna break down uh, a sales school so that you understand what to say, what not to say in a sales school and how to close a sale really easily. So when you start the call, the first thing you should not do is talk about yourself. Most of us, what we do, what we tend to do is introduce ourselves and then start talking about us and our products or services. That's when most of you guys screw the thing up, right? So what you need to do is instead, remember, maybe write it down uh, on, a, on the notepad that you're using to take notes, a big L. What that means is listen. So you need to listen more and talk less. So that's one part of the sales call. How you do that is by asking questions. So firstly, what you do is ask why they booked the call. Because they booked the call, you didn't book the call for them. So they booked the call for a reason. They have a pain. They're, they're struggling with something and they're trying to overcome something. So you focus on that and ask questions as to why they booked the call. Then you will understand the exact pain point, what they're struggling with and how you can help them. So once you understand that, you can next go to the next step which is explaining what you have your product or service and the features and the benefits so you need to connect what they said um, and show them how to bridge the gap so uh, that's the second uh, that's the third step and the fourth step is asking for any questions or objections if they have anything to ask it's mainly complaints because uh, there are no objections as such most of them are complaints so if you understand and uh, rather than um, looking at it in a sympathizing way you empathize and come up with a solution then you're more likely to close a sale so don't go into the same place as they are or uh, wear the same shoe but instead tell them why they think like that why they are in that hole or why they are in that problem and come up with the solution and tell them show them how to overcome the problem and finally uh, the most important thing is closing the sale or asking for the payment so how you do this is by just assuming the sale rather than you know asking okay would you like to buy or what do you think what you say is so um, how would you like to buy uh, when do you want to start so these are good questions because you are assuming that they have decided to purchase already and you are just giving them the option of whether it's a MasterCard or Visa card or uh, American Express so it's just assuming that they have decided to buy and then going through the next steps once you do that they will say okay so they haven't got the option of saying no they've rather got the option of saying whether it's a mastercard or american express or visa card if they have any questions that's when they ask questions okay can i pay uh, as installments i can't probably pay this much so if that's the case that's fine just uh, deal with those questions and the next thing you need to do is go through uh, the objections once you clear all the objections get the payment done and go through the next steps tell them that they've made the right decision what they did was the right thing and uh, tell them they this is what they need to do these are the next steps that they need to follow in order to uh, get results so once you get to that finally thank them and then uh, share your contact details and uh, if they have any questions ask them to get back to you so that you can clarify them and uh, serve them so that's uh, the steps of a sales process firstly do not talk too much do not talk about yourself do not talk about your company too much unless they ask of course if they ask then you need to talk about the company what you do and about your staff maybe about your team and about your services 
but keep it brief focus on them focus on their needs their um, struggles and how to overcome them so the second step is to listen ask questions and make sure you understand them so the more you understand them the more you can serve them so show empathy not sympathy then thirdly bridge the gap show how you can serve in a way that they uh, from where they are to where they want to go how you are going to take them so show the process so they understand uh, it logically and then uh, ask any questions about the uh, objections or merely complaints and finally the payment once you get the payment you just explain the next steps and uh, give your contact details or your team's contact details how they can get in touch with you and uh, the process what they need to do to achieve results so that's what you need to do in a sales call to get results and uh, assume the sale assume that they have come to purchase your products or services and the sale will be easy because it's not about pushing it's about pulling how you pull is by listening understanding their problems and struggles and uh, serving them in the right manner take care